hello hello i am back so i am back with ace so assess communicate evaluate um we are talking about loneliness in relationships and this time we are talking about it on the emotional aspect because yeah some people have a household issue but some people have an emotional connection issue so when you do have that emotional connection issue what are some things that you can do to try and rectify it so starting off with our a assess what is how what is it specifically that is affecting you what is it that you're feeling are you feeling sad are you feeling hopeless are you feeling unloved are you feeling taken advantage of assess what specific thing it is that's making you feel whatever it is that you're feeling in this moment of you feeling lonely in your relationship so first assessment is what am i feeling next is how is it affecting my daily life so a lot of times we don't realize that when you are sad or when you are lonely it translates to other aspects of your life it can translate to how you are with kids if you have children how you are with your friends and family and also how you are at work and also your self-worth and your self-love so how is it affecting you because once you know exactly how it's affecting you it can also help you to assess the gravity of the how the gravity of your loneliness and hopefully it will give you a source of, source of urgency to be able to get this moving in the right direction quickly because a lot of times when we are lonely we think this is normal because believe it or not you do build a relationship um not a relationship you do build a routine where you feel like i mean i've been doing it all this time by myself anyway so let me just keep it pushing and you don't even realize that you're doing this repetitive cycle so hopefully as you're doing this assessment you will realize that the time is now act now move now happiness is warranted you need happiness you deserve happiness i want you to be happy okay all right so then the next thing that we, we want to assess is what is my love language so i'm feeling lonely but what is my love language because maybe your partner thinks your love language is gifts and that's not your love language. Maybe acts of service is your love language or words of affirmation or please go ahead and take the love language. It's, it's everywhere, you know it. Go ahead and take it. But what is your love language? Do you actually know what it is to be able to explain it to somebody else? So figure out what exactly your love language is and are you receiving that love language as well? And then believe it or not, you also want to find out what is your partner's love language it's very easy in loneliness to think about just us and what we need and what we want very very easy because at the end they wouldn't want feeling it so you know why don't i have to worry about my feelings but also think about your partner as well what is their love language what is it that they need from you in order to feel fulfilled because if they don't feel fulfilled chances are they're not going to give you what you want as well because it's a very <laughs> myopic thing where we are all focused on what we need at times that we forget about the other person so i'm telling you do not forget about what the other person needs as well figure out what is also their love language and how can you meet that then we are moving to see communicating so you've done the full assessment you know what it is the issue is you know how you're feeling now we're gonna articulate it to our partner. So starting off with expressing, you know what, honey? This is how I'm feeling right now. Don't generalize it to, this is how you, you are making me feel. Or don't generalize it to, I have been feeling like this for the past 20 years because the person's gonna feel attacked. So right now in this moment, I am feeling like I'm all alone. I feel like we are disconnected. I feel like we're not on the same page and I'm struggling with what to do about it. And I just wanna bring it to your attention because you mean a lot to me and I want us to be able to work on it together. So you're communicating your feelings to your partner. And then 
you're going to communicate your desire for the connection. So why do you want to be connected to your partner? Explain that to them. Like, I want to be connected because I feel like when we're connected, we're more in sync. I feel like when we're connected, there's happiness. I feel like when, it's, when we're connected, our household or our situation or whatever it is, runs smoother. I feel like I'm more productive. Whatever it is that you want, explain it to the person. I feel connected when we insert your own language okay and then you're also going to communicate your love language well you know honey my love language is words of affirmation so i feel like to be more connected i would really love it if you could help me out um and let's learn this together what is not help me out that was the wrong term but what is it that we can do together for us both to remember you to remember the acts of um that words of affirmation is my love language and for me to communicate that I need more of it. So what can we do together to be able to make this work? And then you're moving on to, I thought your love language was this. What do you think about it? What is it, what would you think that your love language is? And how can I meet this need that you have? Because I love you, I want to express that I love you. How can I best express that to you? So this is the communication part. Assessment was by yourself. Communication is with your partner. What can we do together and how can I explain to you what it is that I want? Then we're gonna evaluate, last but not least. So next we're evaluating. And let's evaluate, cause sometimes we need a reminder. Why did y'all get together in the first place? Like what was it about this person that was so spectacular? that you decided that this was your person. What was it? If you have to write it down, write it down. If you have to think it out loud, think it out loud, but communicate it with your partner if possible. What, actually you probably should, but what is it about the person that attracted you? Do they still have some of those qualities or are those qualities now being maxed by all the negativity? Because a lot of times when there's negative moments, we forget the positive because I don't know, somebody's law. The positives always get minimized when there are negatives involved. So what is it about the person that you loved? What are their positives? And then we can focus on that because then that brings a positive light into your relationship. You know that there was something there and that if something there and it's worth fighting for or it's worth the efforts. And then what adjustments can you make together to make each other feel valued? Because perhaps maybe you haven't communicated it before maybe you have maybe you need to try again we're going to do a video on i have tried everything so stay tuned for that but um you're going to adjust well, how can we spend time together so a lot of times we are together in the same room but we are not together we are not connecting we are not intentional so setting that intentional time together to say in this moment all things aside whether it's 15 20 minutes whatever it is all things aside, is you and me. We're gonna sit down. You don't even have to have a deep conversation because all these things is building relationships, right? Connecting does not mean that you're gonna talk their ear to death because I promise you, you keep talking, they're not gonna listen. So spending that time together, maybe it's watching a movie. You don't have to go out, but date each other again. Watching a movie, laughing about something. I don't know, there's so many different things that you can do. Eating with no phone. Don't be eating with your phone at the table. We have a no phone rule at my table in my house because there are so many ways temptation can creep in that will really and truly continue to make you disconnected. So set intentional time, whether it's every day check-in, once a week check-in. I wouldn't do more than once a week, but if you have to, whatever it is, make it consistent. Let that partner know, okay, I have something great to look forward to and don't make it a negative experience we will do another video possibly next week on how to start the conversation and ways that you can um, make it consistent okay and then also um, how you can learn together because if you're disconnected and you're feeling alone emotionally one of you or maybe both are lacking information you're lacking information on communicating you're loving um you're lacking information on um expressing yourselves and also a lot of other things that i can't think of right now but 
it is very important that you guys learn together, that you grow together. What is the importance of connecting to each of you? What does connecting mean to you? Because if for your partner, connecting means we're in the house together, they may feel like they're done. But if for you, connecting means we're talking about feelings or, you know, we're holding hands or, you know, there's some type of intimacy, then you're always going to be lacking. And then they're going to feel fulfilled because their criteria was not your criteria. So what is each other's criteria and how is it that you can both work together to learn it? And so learning resources, there are so many free resources, so many. Money is not a factor. The internet these days, Google is your friend. Look it up. What are some ways to connect with my partner? Watch some other videos. Read a book. Sometimes even talking it out, just brainstorming and talking it out. Because a lot of information that's out there, you've already come across, but you're just not applying it. So maybe talk it out loud and say, how can we apply it to make sure that we are connecting? Because I don't want to be lonely in this relationship. Nobody wants to be alone in the relationship. And I pray that your partner does not want you to feel alone in this relationship. And sometimes your partner may receive this information in a positive way. Sometimes they may not receive it in a positive way. And unfortunately, that is a harsh reality of humanhood. It's, it just, it is what it is. But what I want is for you personally to try everything that you can to make it work. And so if it doesn't work, it's not because you didn't try. You left no crumbs on the table. You took care of business and you did what you needed to do. Self-love above all. Please, please practice self-love. If you are lonely and you are feeling emotionally disconnected, connect with yourself. Connect with your maker. Sounds simple. I understand it's very complicated. But there are some things that you can do for yourself for happiness. Because your partner really and truly, you should not be relying on your partner for happiness. Your partner is a bonus, an addition, a blessing. They cannot be your source of happiness. You have to be your source of happiness. Your maker has to be your source of happiness. So we're gonna assess what we're feeling. We're gonna communicate what we're feeling and how we want to move forward. And then we're going to evaluate what we can do together to make this work or what I can do for myself to make myself happy. Not even or, and, and, in fact, put that first. And what can you do for yourself to make this work? I pray that you guys are blessed and I will see you next week.